coral reef dieback is irreversible now. They have passed their thermal tipping point, which is a reality that we've known for a while, but it was confirmed in October 2025 by Exeter's Global Tipping Point report. But what actually is a tipping point? Earth systems, from oceanic to ecological, are kept stable by complex processes and feedback loops. Rising temperatures upset this equilibrium, and they have some resilience up until a point. But once a tipping point is passed, these changes cascade and become irreversible. There has been an ongoing marine heat wave since 2023 that has caused coral bleaching events all over the world. And coral bleaching is more than just a fading of colour. Corals are not one organism, they are symbiotic assemblages made of a coral, which is an animal actually, that secretes calcium carbonate skeleton that forms all of the structure needed for the reef. And they provide shelter for alga, which are photosynthetic organisms that produce sugars to keep the coral alive. Bleaching happens when water temperatures are too high, and this damages the photosynthetic machinery of algae, meaning they're less able to cope with excess light, and the corals just expel their algal symbionts. I think this graph summarizes really well the severity of the ongoing heat wave. So the scientists investigated 462 coral colonies and they found that 84% of them were bleached by April and only the green ones recovered by July. It's not just high temperatures, because climate change has quintupled the frequency of marine heat waves, meaning there is less time for corals to recover and prepare for the next heat wave. And if temperatures don't get corals, CO2 will, because if CO2 concentrations rise above 500 parts per million, this will result in significant ocean acidification, such that the corals are unable to precipitate the calcium carbonate that they need in order to build those skeletons. As the coral exoskeletons are degraded and bleached, the ecosystems will tip and the entire ecosystem will collapse. The Global Tipping Point report concludes with high confidence that coral reefs are experiencing regional and local tipping points. This is because there is an ongoing bleaching event that is affecting previously unaffected reefs, like in the Southern Great Barrier Reef. It's also affecting coral species that had previously been resistant, and past models had predicted a threshold of 1.2 to 1.5 degrees. We are at 1.4. But why should you care about coral reefs? And you should, you should care about them already, but I will provide evidence for you to care about them. They support an enormous amount of ecological diversity and a lot of endemic species, meaning species that do not exist in any other ecosystem. Coral reefs have an economic value of 2 trillion US dollars and they support the livelihoods of 500 million people. Coral reefs are also natural barriers to wave energy, especially storm surges from cyclones, which will become more common under